I'm Sarah Logan. You've seen me interviewing other people, telling their stories. I'm not real comfortable in the first person, but here goes. On January 11th, I interviewed a refugee from East Timor for a special assignment. The session ran past midnight. Because I was only nine blocks away from my home, I decided to walk. My trip home took me past this swimming pool complex. This is where two men grabbed me from behind and raped me. They put a coat over my face and they dragged me here. They told me they would kill me if I made any sound. One of them wore a running suit. The other had a tattoo of an eye on the underside of his wrist. And he smelled of clove cigarettes. For the past 12 weeks, I've had some of New York's finest working on my case. In spite of all their hard work, they had no luck finding either man. Maybe you know one of these two men. I was attacked, and I am going to fight back. I'm Sarah Logan. Operator. No, no, sweetheart. This is no time for a phone call. Mark Krieger, um, a, a car parts rep from Cleveland. We met a couple times for drinks. Where? The hotel bar. It was a stupid expense account fling. Little did I know. Well, did he force you into it? The guy scared the crap out of me. Was well, that a yes? I don't want to press charges, OK? Not on my end. I just wanted to help. OK, so give us the key. Mark Krieger? What? You're under arrest for the crime of rape. You have the right to remain silent. I know, I know. Right to remain silent. You have right? the right to an attorney? Yeah, and the damn city has to pay for it, too. Because I'm flat ass broke. Excuse me. <laughs> Three months I'm looking for these two pukes, and the night we get the call, I'm at a Chomsky lecture. Tell me about this Krieger. He works construction. Priors include a couple of possession charges, a handful of assaults, bar fights mostly, and cutting checks. He's from Queens, but he told his date that he was a car parts rep from Cleveland. His date? How reliable is that? Extremely. She knows she was very close to being a Mr. Goodbar victim. Yeah, he uh, lawyered up right away. Didn't say a word. What did he feel like? Well, it's your case, John. What should he feel like? No, I always felt this was a rape of opportunity. Oh, well, they didn't target Sarah. They didn't even know who she was. She's walking home. They see her. They grab her. Well, since we only have one of two suspects, we could get into a situation here where the DA has to make out all the charges against Krieger and an unapprehended other. So just keep that in mind while you're taking your state. So let Krieger lead us to the second guy. We can try that later, John. I want to try to get the second rapist before Krieger gives him a heads up. Which he'll probably do the first moment he's sober. All right, then we'll get his phone records. We'll get his employment records, his credit card bills. I think we ought to be able to track down number two. Did anyone tell Sarah we have a suspect? Uh, no, I thought she ought to hear it from you, John. Hey, John. See my piece? I did. It was gutsy and eloquent. Oh, well, I'll have to put that on my epitaph someday. Here lies Sarah Logan, gutsy and eloquent. Letters of support? The response has been amazing. It gets better. You got them. One of them. A woman watching your telecast realized that the guy in her bed matched your description, turned him in. His own girlfriend turned him in. Well, girlfriend suggests a longer-term relationship than, hi, Hawaii, let's go to my room. Who is he? I'd give you his baby photos and home address if I could. But? But it would jeopardize the lineup. Jeopardize the lineup? This is the man who raped me. When can you tell me? The minute this ugly pageant is over. You remind me so much of my brother. Well, all right, say this is the guy. So what does that mean? What happens next? We search the suspect's apartment. No, I mean for me. After the lineup, we may not see this guy again until we're in court. Everything we do until then has to anticipate any possible defense. So it's the business side of innocent to proven guilty. I wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't think you would. Man, every collection agency in town's after this guy. No bank accounts, no credit cards. He's got a fridge magnet for a check cashing place. It means he works as often as he has to. You know, being a rapist is a full-time job. Pizza takeout, liquor store, 900 miso honey number. Three shirts, two pairs of pants, no golf clubs, no fishing rods, no nothing. But a man who clearly likes to smoke. Yeah, well, maybe there's souvenirs from his one-night stands with out-of-towners. 
Could be. Every relationship, short term, every friendship, expendable. How sentimental of us. We've been assuming for 12 weeks that both rapists knew each other. Yeah, maybe number two was just someone he met. Well, the White Horse Saloon, the black light, I'm getting all nostalgic. Are you joking? Well, sort of. But in a really dark hotel bar, anything's possible up until the seventh or eighth drink. OK, which one of these was closest to the attack? Uh, that would be Shad's Cabaret at the Regal Inn. Classy. Yeah, well, there is no Shad, there is no Cabaret, just a lot of hard-drinking locals and confused out-of-towners. <laughs> Let me know if anything's changed. What kind of what kind of trouble's Mark in? He's a suspect in a rape. Oh. Oh? Doesn't that merit a gosh or that's terrible? No, no, that guy's always getting into trouble. I mean, Mark didn't know what he was going to do until like two seconds before he did it. Impulsive. How do you know him? We're like second cousins. I mean, I don't know. My mom explained it to me once. I think his uncle married my great aunt. Or... On January 11th, he paged you twice. Did you see him? No, no. The last time I saw him was Labor Day. The, uh, the monsters of metal tour at the garden. Did you know any of his friends? Uh, he didn't really make friends. Like they say, you know, relatives give you an opportunity to associate with people who you'd otherwise uh, never hang out with. Oh, yeah. That guy owes me 36 bucks. Mark something in there. Just a second. You know him? No. You let him run a tap. He gave me a credit card. I, I ran the bill, and so did he. Here you go, here you go. Mark Krieger, right? Sounds good to me. Was he here with someone? How the hell would I know? Well, the bill. I mean, you got 10 Boilermakers on there. It tells me either he drinks a lot or he's with another guy. You got five Boilermakers and five Long Island iced teas. Well, maybe he's with a traveling businesswoman with clouded judgment. Sorry, not an itemized bill. You got a date on that? It's right on the receipt here, January 11th. You just made my day. Assistant DA Erica Alden, I'll be representing your case. Who is he? Uh, Robert Sorensen, I'm his attorney. And slime balls get lawyers. Just tell me how it's gonna work. Well, they can't see you, but you can see them, okay? So if you need any of the men in the lineup to do anything, you just tell me and I'll relay it to them. Take your time before you answer. If you don't know, make sure you can't identify the man before giving up. Hey, no coaching, OK? Pay no attention to the twit in the suit. Let's go. All the way to the end. I didn't really get a good look at his face. Can you ask them to roll up their sleeves, please? Uh, could you roll up your sleeves, please, and turn your wrists out? Wait a minute, they all have the tattoo? Is this a trick? We can only ask you if you recognize any of the men, Sarah. It's number three. First of all, Sarah, the good news is the defense can no longer bring up your past sexual history. That's no longer allowed. But they can allude to it. If they can. They have no obligation to explain what did or didn't happen. All they have to do is muddy the waters enough so that the jurors feel OK voting not guilty. They're going to want to generate confusion. They're going to try to beat you up on the stand. Like how? Well, it's a rape case, so they have to ask you who put what, where, when, and how. For each charge, where were you? Where were your hands? Where was Krieger? Where was the other guy? How do you know it was Krieger, not the other guy? OK, I get it, all right? We're just trying to give you an idea of what it's going to be like. I understand. Is there anything else? Just answer as specifically and with as much detail as you possibly can. You've got to be direct. Don't use euphemisms. Say penis, say vagina, say intercourse. And if these words make you feel uncomfortable at all, call me, call Munch, tell us the story a million times until you feel totally comfortable. If they think you're uncomfortable, they'll use it. They'll go over the same thing five different ways just to see you sweat. OK, so what happens next week? Pre-trial maneuvering and jury selection, arcane and tedious proceedings that have mostly to do with the rights of the accused. Sarah. This could be ugly. Not as ugly as what happened. 